Hey there! I bet you're wondering why I'm filming on my kitchen today and what it has to do with puzzles. And the answer is quite simple. Very often I get comments like, dude, you're so good at packing puzzles. And there is a reason for that. I want to show you my secret training facility, uh, which helps me to master my abilities in solving packing puzzles. And it is so big that I can't put it on my desk, I can't uh, solve it in my uh, office where, where I film videos, so I have to film it right here on a kitchen. This is a type of puzzle you solve 365 days a year, sometimes even more, sometimes a little bit less, but still you solve it almost every day. Some people hate it, some people like to assemble it, by, but hate disassembling it. Uh, uh, for example, myself, I like to uh, assemble this puzzle, but I don't like disassembling it. And uh, this puzzle uh, might have many different uh, difficulty levels. Sometimes it is very easy, but sometimes it is so hard that you don't even know how to uh, solve it. This puzzle is not only interesting to solve sometimes, but it also helps to make your life much easier. So if you don't have it uh, in your home, it's better to buy it. Uh, and if you want to buy it, I'll put a link in the video description. If you still have no idea what I'm talking about, keep watching the video. And if you already guessed what the puzzle is going to be, still keep watching the video till the very end and then hit like, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and do all this uh, stuff to help me grow my channel. And now when the puzzle frame is ready, I have to find some inner parts that I have to put inside. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to use parts that were solved a couple of days ago, since if I use unsolved parts, they're going to look nasty. So we have to add a couple of small parts as well. Usually these little things uh, have uh, their own place inside the frame of the puzzle, but since we are solving a puzzle here, it's not some kind of a joke, I have to use them as well. So I'll grab a bunch of these, a bunch of these, and as well as these parts. We have to use a bunch of other crazy parts as well, so I'm gonna grab something from this shelf. To make this puzzle more realistic and to make it a little bit more difficult, I have to use a couple of these crazy looking parts. And that's all what I have for now. What I like about this puzzle is that if you're not satisfied with the result, you can always add more parts inside. I'll start with the bunch of easy and uh, the most obvious parts. They fit nice right here. Now a couple of tricky parts, but still it is not so difficult to find a place for them. Now I just have to check if everything works. Yeah, and everything fits perfect. So the first part of the puzzle is solved. Now we are moving to the most difficult part. You might be wondering why I left a spot right here. This crazy looking part fits there just perfect. Couple of shiny parts fit here. A couple of more tricky parts I will add right here. And since I have a little bit of space left, I can add a couple of more tricky parts. And that's it, the puzzle looks solved. To make sure that it is solved, you have to close the lid of the frame. So it's gonna look like this. So the puzzle is solved, but you have to wait till the very end, till you hear the beep a couple of hours later, since this is a smart puzzle. And it's gonna tell you at the very end if you solved it correct, since after opening the lid, you might find some parts were cracked or broken, that means that you did something wrong and that, it's, uh, that it was not a right solution. 
I know the puzzle isn't solved if you haven't solved it uh, both ways, but I leave the second part of this puzzle uh, to my wife, since I don't really like this part, it is a little bit boring, but somebody has to do it anyways. And now you also know my secret, which I kept for many years, how I became so good at packing puzzles. So if you enjoyed watching this video, hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet, and happy April Fool's Day!